Zoop. Today, we're looking at this presence sensor from Tuya. I know Tuya makes a lot of Wi-Fi devices, but this one is actually Zigbee. The device itself is pretty small. It's basically a square and then very flat. Here's a 9 volt battery for comparison. So you can see that it's actually thinner than this 9 volt battery. On one other side, you'll see micro USB cable, USB slot, I should say, and then a pairing button. Inside the package, you get the uh, box, the device itself, double sided tape, and micro USB cable. They expect you to mount this onto the wall with the uh, double sided tape, and then that's it. Myself, I have it mounted on a shelf. So I 3D printed a uh, holder for this to slide right into it and then place it on the, the shelf. There is no power adapter whatsoever, but you can use the standard phone charger. So plug the micro USB cable into the slot, plug this into the uh, power adapter, and then you're on. If you use a hub like myself, Home Assistant, then go ahead and get this into pairing mode. Press and hold this pairing button for about three seconds and then you'll see the lights blinking, ready to be paired. This is what you should see when you added it successfully. You'll see that the icon looks something like this. The manufacturer will be from Tuya. Click on the pencil icon to rename it. I renamed mine to Presence Second Bedroom because that's where it is right now, second floor bedroom. Click on Close. Now let's jump to our MQTT devices. Click on Settings. Go down to Devices, go down to MQTT, search for it. Here it is, Presence Second Floor Bedroom. Here are all of the settings that you can play around with. I set mine to almost the maximum range of 8 meters, which is a lot. Minimum range, 0. Radar sensitivity, all the way to the max. Down below, you have a bunch of sensors. Here's the presence sensor, whether someone is in the room or not. Interestingly, it has luminance sensor. That way, you'll know if the room is bright or dark. Very cool. I don't use a self-test. And here's another one that might be of use, target distance. How far the person is from the sensor. Oh yeah, I tried this behind glass or a book and it works just as good. What does that mean? That means you can have this behind a window. You can have this behind a wall if you want to hide behind a wall, and it will still detect presence. Unlike traditional motion sensor, PIR, this Tuya radar works easily behind glass and obstruction. I haven't fully tested it, how thick the obstruction is before it stops working, but it definitely works through a uh, standard magazine. Just for comparison, you can see what it looks like versus the Aquara FP1. Here are all of the controls for the FP1, and here are the sensors available for the FP1. The FP1 does not have luminance sensor. Also, for whatever reason, the FP1 is not available to buy in USA. I had to get mine shipped from China. Luckily, the Tuya presence sensor is available in USA, so you can buy that in the link section below. Alright, hopefully you found this guide helpful. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, and thanks for watching.